Hello. This video will show you how you can configure and run Kinesis to S3 application that will allow you to read data from Kinesis Stream and write it to files on S3. On starting the data tour into RTS Gateway, you would see this welcome screen. As you can see, we have already created a Kinesis Stream from where the data would be read. The name of the stream is DT Stream and it has two shards. In addition to it, we have also created an S3 bucket named Kinesis Output in which the files would be written to. Please click on the App Hub button. The App Hub page shows the list of apps that are available to download. Please click on Kinesis to S3 app. Click on the View Package button. You can now view information related to the app. Click on the Launch button. Here, you can specify the name of the application, mandatory and optional properties of the operators and additional launch options. Specify the properties for the app and press the Launch button. Here, we have entered values for all the required properties namely S3 output bucket name, S3 directory path which is the path under the bucket, where the files will be created, access and secret access key for Kinesis and S3. Endpoint for Kinesis, and the name of the Kinesis stream. We have added two optional properties as well. First property specifies the max length of the file that can be written on S3. Let us set it to 50 kilobytes. Second property specifies the initial offset for Kinesis operator. Let us set it to earliest. The application is launched successfully. Click on the application ID at the top right corner. It will take us to the Monitor tab, where we can check the status and track progress of the application. On the right panel we can observe that the operators are being deployed on YARN containers and the application state changes from accepted to running. This page shows us the logical view of the application. We can see the state of the application like current window ID, recovery window ID, performance parameters like latency, tuples processed and emitted per second, total tuples processed and emitted, and physical parameters like total number of operators and the memory allocation. The page also shows us the logical plan of the DAG and metrics for each operator like latency, tuples processed and emitted, total CPU, status, etc. Let us click on the Physical tab. The Physical view provides container-specific information for each physical operator like container ID, host name and allocated memory. The Physical DAG view shows us the Physical DAG along with the stream locality information. Let us now verify whether the data is successfully copied from Kinesis Stream to S3. We can see that the specified directory is created under the S3 bucket and files of size 50 kilobytes are being written in it. Once we have verified that all the data is successfully copied, we can shut down the application by clicking on the shutdown button. We can observe that all operators are being stopped and the application state changes to finished. Thank you for watching the video.